Vitalum Sapotheca, and we're going to make that mask that you guys saw me using regularly in my skincare routine. So let's do that. Okie dokie. So this is a little bit of mask I've been giving away to my friends, and I love it. It's good. <laughs> it doesn't dry like a, a mask with a lot of clay in it. So it doesn't crust and kind of pull at the skin much. And you can add more honey to make it more moisturizing for your skin. But it's got a great uh, ingredients and we're gonna make a little bit now. It's pretty much equal parts of amla and neem. And amla, which is Indian gooseberry, is extremely high in vitamin C. And it's used traditionally in Ayurveda for a lot of hair and skin preparations. Great for uh, dandruff and they use it for darkening hair and uh, it's great for skin brightening because of the amazing amount of vitamin C. Sometimes they mash it with various things like yogurt, which you actually could put in here if you wanted, or uh, papaya would be good. So because of the large amount of vitamin C, it helps with collagen development and tightening skin, and you really feel the astringent um, properties of it. It's also packed with a lot of different vitamins and minerals, you know, so you, a lot of people eat it, it's, it's digestible. You can, there's a juice made from it that's very health inducing. It reduces inflammation and also reduces pigmentation. What does it say? Any gooseberry has special brightening effects on the skin. For this, you need to mix amla right with the honey. It treats acne and pimples, repairs damaged tissue, a lot of antioxidants and again, packed with vitamin C. It's definitely high on the ORAC scale with the antioxidants. Then I put about equal parts of neem, which is also a great Indian gem of an herb. That's neem powder, neem leaf powder. I guess you could also have neem bark powder. You could also add neem oil. It's very bitter. But anyways, so neem leaf powder is antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. It's very good for any sort of skin infection. So if you're acneic skin at all, this is great. You can massage your acne with it. It's a natural skin toner, and it also has an effect on hyperpigmentation. It helps reduce blackheads and large pores because of that astringent property of neem. It's a great skin benefit. Neem has a lot of benefits, so neem powder added in there. Manuka honey. I like manuka honey also for its um, hydrating humectant properties as well. It's just a great anti-aging, but it also manuka honey is good for any skin infection. So also great for any acne and I have a video about manuka honey as well. And then I added some salicylic acid in the form of just some aspirins and I'll show you how I just dissolved these first. Then I put some this is a mixture of clays. I have some bentonite clay, green clay, some rosula clay, halen clay, really any clay that you'd like. The fuller clay apparently has more of a, which I haven't tried before, but it's apparently help, helps with pigmentation as well. So we mix that all up. You can add essential oils as you like. We'll do a video about essential oils soon. Then we mix it all up and I just, it's, Got a lot of antibacterial, antiviral properties. I don't know how well it would like store for a long period of time, but this has been in, out for like two weeks, just on my counter in my bathroom. I scrub on a little bit, as you saw in previous videos. I'll leave it on if I'm just hanging out at home and it's great. Okay, let's make some. Here's my empty jar. I'm just using aspirin from the dollar store. Probably I should order some salicylic acid, some straight up salicylic acid. So I have, I don't know how many of those, but they like 20. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this warmed water cause I want it to go fast and it will just sort of um, start to uh, dissolve the coating. There we all see, it just kind of gets all mushy. Great, so we did that and then I'm going to add just basically equal parts of the neem and the amla, and I'll link to where you can get that. Amla powder, you can get it at a lot of Indian stores, but also it's just like a, a muddy powder. So let's add 
going to add basically equal parts of that with about a, a tablespoon. I'm just dumping it in right now. And then neem, green powder, very bitter herb, very stringent. So there you go. It's a green powder. Awesome. Mixing that up. See? Some honey. I love this Manuka honey from Trader Joe's. I bought a bunch. So I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half about. And then you can add water or you can add any sort of um, any other liquid you'd like. Like if you wanted so, to make it smell really yummy, you could add some neroli or because it doesn't smell great, to tell you the truth. You could add some turmeric essential oil, which I'm going to add today. Turmeric essential oil. Mm. It smells, I love the what smell of turmeric essential oil. So I'm just going to put a bunch of drops. Um, turmeric, you know, has all these amazing anti-inflammatory. We've got a, quite an Ayurvedic cleanser here with uh, turmeric and neem and amla. So we're doing pretty good. So I'm stirring this up. Okay, so here it is. It's a big mushy mess. I didn't even add any water besides what I had dissolved the aspirin in. Now you can add some clay to it. And I wanted the aspirin to dissolve, maybe a little bit more. So you can kind of, it smells very turmeric -y. So that would be a very moisturizing uh, cleanser. You could scrub it on, and because it's not too abrasive, it's a nice daily, it's kind of scrub, and it's pulling toxins out of your skin, and it's a great thing to do on a regular basis. Got some on my nose, so embarrassing. Okay, but I'm gonna add now just a little bit of this clay mixture. Mm -hmm. This is just a mixture of all those clays, and I'll link to those as well. There we have it. So this is gonna dry maybe a little bit. It's still really uh, moist from the honey. So if you wanted it to little, be a little bit more clay, uh, more absorbing oils, just add more clay to it. You don't have to measure it exact. My daily sort of cleansing clay, the skin perfecting Ayurvedic inspired, um, skin toning, tightening, and very good with hyperpigmentation mixture. You can add other essential oils as you like, really. There you go, everybody. I like the smell of turmeric. It smells good. Maybe some rosemary, maybe frankincense for more anti-aging or sandalwood. So you'll smell like a hippie. No, it's sandalwood because it's very uh, good for all sorts of skin problems, actually. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. More to come. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. And comments welcome. And any requests, as usual, go for it.